Hey there friends, we just put in these new floorboards here and we've gotten to our baseboard project where we are reinstalling some of the old ones that are in decent shape as well as cutting some new ones for the broken baseboards that were pulled out. And as you can see, we've got a couple of different angles to cut today. On this side, we have a 90 degree angle that comes around this block right here, but then we also have an internal angle of 45 degrees. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to cut that 45 degree internal angle. If you're looking for the 90 degree option, we have another video on our channel that you can find in the description box below. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we obviously need to do is get a measurement. So I'm going to measure from the top of this guy right here to the top point of this guy down here. And that's basically gonna give us our longest point. And as you can see, that is right at about seven and a half inches. We'll get a little bit more accuracy here with the camera down, but that should be our cut line. Okay, so we're out here with my chop saw. And basically we marked out that seven and it ended up being a seven and a quarter measured from the top because that's what we wanted our spacing to be up top. And that's where we're gonna have our 90 degree angle on this side, meaning we need to have our internal 45 degree on this side. So basically in order to make these cuts, what you do is you take the angle that you need, 45 degrees in this case, and we're gonna cut that in half. Now again, because it's internal, we want the cut to go this way just like it's sitting like here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here on our chop saw and I'm gonna cut again that angle in half, so 45 degrees. The half mark is actually gonna be right here at 22.5. You can see there's actually a little notch in my specific saw. You'll hear it click right in. And once we have that locked in, we can come over here. And this is the little bit of a tricky part. You basically need to kind of eyeball this. It's gonna go right in the center of that cut. And I'm gonna use two hands, bring that chop saw down and just make sure we are hitting right on that little corner to create that internal uh, cut for the 45 degree angle. Okay, I just made the cut. As you can see, it's nice and clean. That's the beauty of these chop saws. Highly, highly recommend if you're doing these angles. Okay, so here's our piece. And again, I made that 90 degree cut over here using the 45 degree angle. And basically, as you can see, if we slide this in, a little bit of caulking needed just to kind of clean up all the edges and those kind of things. As you can see, we're gonna have our nice 90 degree angle on this side. So again, basically to make these cuts, figure out the angle slice it in half. That's where you're gonna be setting your chop saw based off of the angle that you need. Do a little bit of pre-work just to make sure you're getting the right cuts and it should go easy for you. Hope this has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Let's know we're making helpful videos. Stay tuned, we're making a bunch more of these cut type videos, home DIY, all sorts of cool stuff. Subscribe and we'll see you again on the next one.